Okay, Lou Depot back again, and we're up to class 9 in the radiant heat. But this is important because as a class 8, you learned a lot about the math and the chart. But now in class 9, determine on which floor covering you're putting down, you need to know the R value of that floor so you can determine the proper BTUs. Floor covering... R value chart. Now the chart's going to show you with tile, with carpet, and with oak flooring, ash flooring, and it starts with eighth inch because there's vinyl included. It goes up to quarter inch, half inch, thicknesses of the floor, be it oak or carpet. It also goes up as far as one inch. Now as you'll see, one inch you'll see a lot of NRs. NR meaning not recommended. Because one inch thick carpet, it's just almost impossible to get radiant heat through it good enough to heat a room. One inch thick anything other than mud floor and tiles is kind of hard to get radiant through. But I just want to show you as the, th the thinness on the chart versus the thickness of the chart, you'll see the R value numbers go up drastically and it's important to know that. So I'm going to bring it over to the chart. This is important to have. You'll have it forever, so this is good. Uh, it starts on the top with plywood, which is not really going to matter to you. But then it, it goes down to sheet goods, vinyl, linoleum, being only an R, R2, which is almost nothing. As you look, an eighth inch, quarter inch. As you start to go down the chart, you'll see tiles which are also, the minimum is a quarter inch, 03, which is nothing, no resistance at all there, uh, brick, 02, when you're looking at quarter inch, as you start to get thicker though, 3 eighths, half inch, 5 eighths, and 3 quarter, you see the numbers go up. You're still 0.8 in the O's, which is very good. When you hit 1 inch up here, you start to see the 1.0, and that's a little harder for the radiant to penetrate. As you get down to carpet, though, you can see a lot of NRs. Not recommended when you get to that thick 1 inch. You can see that. So carpet, you want to stay very thin with the carpet or maybe consider a different type of heat other than radiant. But this is all of them, and it's important that you have these. And we'll go right on down the list uh, from the top. And then as you get to the wood flooring, you can see the differences. Um, a lot of you guys will be doing oak wood floor. And there's your R values up to 0.8 for one inch. But you're probably not going to be that thick with the wood anyway. And then your soft woods, fir, pine, and spruce. A little high there, 1.3 for one inch thick. But at least you have these numbers now because you're going to use these numbers in your math. Okay, that's important. I hope this helps.